Hi, it's Mike Taylor from TalkAndroid.com and today I'm going to demonstrate two different ways that Flash can be used on a mobile device using Android. The first way is the uh, desktop optimized version and the second way is the mobile optimized version. For doing this I'm going to show you two clear differences in how the, the, uh, the full Flash 10.1 player works inside Android 2.2. Um, I'm using my HTC rooted desire running the Cinegen 6 mod. Um, so I'm going to fire up my browser first of all. Um, let me note that I'm not on 3G, I'm on wireless. Uh, I'm very close to my router, but I'm only on a 2-4 megabit connection, more than likely about 3.5. This is uh, in difference to the guys in the States who made a video today on a 24 pipeline trying to show Flash on Android. Um, Alright, so I'm in the browser, but first of all, to show you the two different versions, I'm going to have to change the user agent on my device to desktop, which it already is. Um, this tricks the browser into thinking I'm on a fully fledged desktop, not on a mobile device. So that's fine. And the website I'm going to be using for this demonstration is bbc.com and the iPlayer, which is a on-demand service which we can use over here in the UK uh, to view all content shown on the BBC in the last week. So load up. What I'm going to watch is our Soccer football highlight show, that's a bit weird. Uh, match of the day, um, which is something a lot of people would like to watch on their mobile device as they're going to work and things like that. Okay, just takes a second to load. Um, I've already started watching it, so we skip the intro to the to the program, and uh, we should be seeing some football highlights straight off the bat. Um, during the football highlights, we should experience a low frame rate with a good quality picture. But obviously, the low frame rate is what the guys in America were talking about when saying that Flash on Android isn't actually very good at all. So I'm going to click here to resume. And then I'm going to try and get this Flash player to go full screen, first of all. Because that's how we want to watch our content. Sorry about that. Okay. So full screen goes straight into landscape mode, of course. Um, I'll turn the sound down. Uh, note that when I play with the volume on the Flash player, um, the, the frame rate will actually drop because that is mainly because the processing power is being totally used up by everything going on inside the operating system. Okay, now we've got the the team's been shown up on this highlight show and everything's fine now, nothing's really moving around but when it gets to moving things like that, animations or fast moving content as in players kicking balls and trying to score goals we will see the frame rate drop dramatically as you can see there it's not a smooth picture at all, the ball is very jerky it's flinging around, the picture quality is actually very sharp but the frame rate is not of a quality where you'd like to watch a program. It's very blurred, and this is what the guys in the states are talking about when they when they're saying that Android on Flash, Flash on Android doesn't actually work that well. But I'm going to exit this. I'm also going to exit my browser. And now I'm going to change the user agent back to Android so that when I go back to the iPlayer channel I'll actually be presented with the mobile optimized version of the site. I'll also be able to use the mobile optimized Flash Player which I have created which also plays mobile optimized videos. All of those 
all of those things all add together to allow the flash content on your mobile to be of a quality which is watchable and even though the picture quality isn't going to be as good the frame rate is significantly better let's match the day two it'll probably remember where I was watching up to yeah this is also <coughs> a few key points about the player is that it's also optimized in the controls there's no volume button because BBC understand that we all have volume buttons on our devices and can change them from that they also understand that we want to go full screen straight away because we don't want to watch the video in this small player so it says here click here click to resume in full screen and that's exactly what it should do like that straight into full screen mode on landscape and we're back and the frame rate I hope you can see this is significantly better it's a very smooth picture the slow mo shots are fantastic of the, the uh, Birmingham City team scoring at the weekend the picture quality is worse but it's so hard to see that on a screen this small that it doesn't matter all you're worried about is seeing a smooth picture and that is exactly what we've got with this optimized mobile experience that's all the content I've got to show you today with this demonstration I feel that it's enough to prove that we shouldn't expect the full web flash experience to come onto Android and magically be brilliant and seamless because it's not because these devices don't don't have as much processing power as a desktop PC everything's combined into one chipset instead of every, having everything separate so companies have to think a little bit harder about how to deliver content to us on our mobile devices and that's exactly what the BBC have done over here in the UK thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy, enjoy reading talkandroid.com thanks very much